Okay, we're here with uh, Mel, our winner of our 12-week Fresh Start Challenge, to get a bit more insight into her experience with us. Um, first question, Mel, how do you feel now you've won this challenge? Um, did you find the Fresh Start experience quite an exciting experience or did you find it quite a daunting experience? I'll be honest, I was really, really scared to start with, but that was just my own insecurities walking into the gym. But once I got here, it was amazing and I've loved every single minute of it. I cannot, it's been amazing. Do you feel that some people's um, misconceptions of a gym would stop them coming to the gym then, would you? Absolutely. That's lovely to hear. Um, how would you explain the whole experience, the 12 weeks experience with the Fresh Start? Um, a complete lifestyle change, but this is just going to be me forever, really. You know, you're going to get bored of seeing me, John. You know, this oh, is, my, my name is, I, I, I started um, here, this is what prompted me to go, was my meniscus, which is the That's, that's lovely to hear. Um, obviously, there's been some many changes over the 12 weeks for you. Um, one being the early morning starts, because you're here at 6 o'clock every morning, most mornings. Um, what's been the hardest part of the change? Um, I would say social, sociably. Um, that's, I say it's been hard, but it's not anymore. It was hard to stop it. Stop it. Stopping bad habits, having a drink to chill out. Whereas now, I just when I'm at home, I do like a little bit of keep fit, um, and I am a lot more chilled out. I, you know, that's that's the main thing. So you've actually found that the exercises have been a better way to relax than the actual your previous habits. Yeah, yeah. That's and excellent. I'm enjoying my food when I go out more because I'm thinking more with my head like, oh, I'd like to try that. Where I'm not. Much. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, and Jack, as her trainer of the 12 weeks, what did you find as your experience with training Mel? What did you find you had to overcome and what did you find that she progressed really well with? Our biggest thing at the start was uh, mobility, wasn't it? You know, quite mobile, actually. Um, but then we had to make things as simple as, simple as we could. Uh, for, for example, squatting against a wall with a to a school, wasn't it? Yeah. But that was something that you adapted to quite quick. Um, fitness as well, we, we started quite um, basic fitness as well, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. We struggled at the start with the cross trainer. Um, you, know, you progressed from two minutes on a cross trainer to 30 minutes on an arc trainer. Then yeah. granted your knee was an issue with that, but that got better quite rapidly actually, did not it? Yeah, yeah. Four to six weeks. Um, biggest progress, oh, fitness wise, that's your that's biggest progression for me. I definitely yeah. did that. You know? And so, that obviously inspires the fact that I never did that. So let's talk about the results then, okay? So yeah. what, what did Mel achieve in that 12-week period? Oh, right. The weight loss was the big one. In that 12-week period alone, was just over four stone, four stone one pound. Um, 48 inches. No, 58. 58 <laughs> inches. 58 inches. Um, three dress sizes. Yes. Three dress sizes. Um, obviously the knee pain, that's the big one at the back. Um, since then, you've done another nine pounds, another nine pounds in the time I was away, and we've obviously we've set new goals as well. So another reduction of two dress sizes. Yes. Let another two dress sizes down. Uh, another eleven pounds as well is our short term goal. The dress sizes are long term goal. 
That's absolutely brilliant news. So the reason why we did our Fresh Start Challenge was to be a little bit different to the conventional 12-week challenges that you see everywhere else. We wanted ours to be a lifestyle change for the rest of your life, obviously. So do you think you can now maintain this moving forward? Absolutely. My, my goal, my overall goal, is to get down to, I don't know what weight it will be, but what size I want to be. And I want, my goal is to maintain that by coming to the gym, not as much as I do now, but to maintain it maybe three times a week I'll be here. Um, and that will be, you know, forever. You know, I now know that to keep the weight off, I've, um, yeah, and I will do it. It's not a will I, it's I will do it now. Brilliant. So, with your prize, you, um, you had £250 for yourself, which was great. So, what was that going towards? Going towards a holiday. Brilliant. Which and... I will be going to the gym as well. <laughs> Excellent. And then the other 250 was towards a charity of your choice, and you chose the uh, Animals in Distress at Ipplepen. Can you explain a little bit of reason why you chose them? Um, I just think um, that the animals that get discarded and, and they haven't got a voice, and you know, so with the £250, hopefully I can keep one of them warm, fed, and you know, just to help them. That's lovely to hear. In actual fact, Animals in Distress is one of our chosen charities for our company as well. So it's, it's great to hear that the money is going towards that because it does back up our community beliefs and charity events as well. So finally, again, well done. We're over the moon. We are very, very proud of you. Um, and we wish you all the success in the future. Thank you.